Well, hello, man cavers, and what are we doing today? We're going to have a look at this BSA power unit that I've rescued from under the bench. Remember, I bought two. This one has a lot of bits missing, exhausters missing. It's got a totally different carb on the magnetos missing, but it turns over with compression. So we've got that one. We've also got this one, which is complete. Got a nice air filter on it. Chunky carb. Yes, exhaust is missing. But we've got the magneto. And yeah, this engine actually looks relatively complete. He says that as there's a throttle linkage hanging. But yeah, we can sort that. Anyhow, what we need to do is this engine seized up. Totally seized up. So is it just seized in the bore? Or is it more terminal than that? And that's seized on the bottom end. Let's get you in the tripod and we'll have a look. Roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, folks, here we go. I think that's where a petrol tank is meant to be bolted on here, and probably two on the top there. But, uh, there we go. Oh, that air filter is, the bracket has snapped. So that might have to be re-welded. It's meant to hold on here, look. What's this HT lead? We've got a good HT lead. I can't unscrew and take it out of the way. Right, okay. First thing I think we need to do is find out why this is seized up. So I think it's tin work off. I've already spotted a problem. If you look right in there, we have a wrong off bolt where the petrol tank should be. So somebody's had the tank off and that's wrong the bolt off, actually getting the tank off. So, um, yeah, this could be fun. So let's get these big bolts out the bottom here. And see if we can get this shroud off. Once I can find a socket. So did you guys enjoy the look around the auction yesterday? And the auction results. All right, let me get an extension. So we have a socket. I'm going to try and get these off with the windy gun. Let's see if I'll come off. Oh, that's spinning that one. Bugger. Ah, that one's come out all right. I'll tell you what it is, I don't quite have the right sized socket. So we're going to have to struggle. Oh, that come with a spanner, look. There we go, this is going to take some winding out, guys. Well, that's a job to get a socket on there square, so I think spanner is probably... Now you should really do these, but it's coming, but you can't get the socket square on because the tin is in the way. So I'm afraid it's a spanner job. I'll be back when I've got that undone. All right, there we go. We've finally got that out. Ah, oh my word. What debris have we got in here? We have debris in the blower housing. Oh, there's rubbish in there everywhere. I like to see engines like this. I really do. Now, look at the state of that. She has cobwebs. Remember the other BSA? It actually broke free just by giving that little tiny jerk on the flywheel. Are we going to be so lucky with this one to save me taking this head off? I think what I'm going to do is blow all this cobwebs and stuff off from around this head. Because there are cobwebs, are many, and dust. So I think I'm just going to blow this off so we know what we're looking at. 
Let me get the blow gun and we can have a little blow. touching on the bottom of the stick. Oh yeah, I can see oil in there, but not an awful lot. So. I don't want to go hit these spins in case I break one off, because none of them are broken at the minute. That would be a shame, so I think we are going to have to just pop the head off out of curiosity as much as anything else. Thank you, compressor. Yeah, take the head off out of curiosity as much as anything else. And, um, yeah, just see if we can see what's going on. See if we can see why she's seized up on us. I'm going to have to use 3.8. I believe... Yeah, we're gonna have to use this 3.8. I think, let's see if these head bolts will come loose. Oh. Bucket, these are tight. These are tight. Oh, Jesus Christ. One. Uh, that's two. Oh, Jesus, these are tight. Uh, that's three. This is really tight. Right, let's see if these are windy off because they're bloody tight. Jesus Christ. They are unbelievably tight. Oh, we got the 
the air gun on flat out. This one is well and truly seized up. Well and truly seized up. Nope. That ain't doing it either. And we broke a fin off. Just what I was trying to avoid. I ain't gonna get that too much stick. I'm just gonna break another fin. Right. What's going on in there? Nothing. Hmm. Now I'm wondering. Why is this one not coming to pieces? What we could do. I was trying to avoid. But we've, also, we've always got that other BSA down there. Which I believe is an older engine. Because this one's got the aluminium plate. This one down here is not seized up, has compression, but has no mag on it. There's quite a bit of end flow in there. I think I've got two mil of end flow. Right, what do you think, guys? Shall we? Just take the mag off this and the carb and use it on that other engine and see if we can get the other one going. Of course, these head bolts, you've seen yourself, they will not break loose. I have a feeling if I go too hard with them, they're just going to ring off and that's not what we need. So I think maybe we should just pop this magneto off here. Mm. There's only one bolt holding that on. I think there's meant to be four, but somebody has took them and that's rung them off. Yeah, this engine's telling a story, I'm afraid. I think she's been, um, how can you put it? I think she's been abused, the poor old girl. That I do. Right, can we get that socket in there? That's recessed right in the bloody mag. I don't know whether that'll actually come out because there are 11 millimeter these. And there ain't quite enough to grab to get it with my spanner. Hmm, you little swine. That's the only thing when you get an engine that someone else has twiddled with. You never fully know. Hmm. 
you never fully know what's going on with it. Even the damn mag bolts are tight, look. Cool. Oh, that recessed right up into the... These mag bolts are recessed right in there. So you only get sort of... Right. Well, we've got the mag off. For some reason, the video stopped recording. Magneto is... I mean, that's just a spring in it. It is seized. Oh. So we're going to have to free this mag off. See if we can get some form of spark on that. This engine is still seized rock solid. With everything we seized on it, I think what I'm going to do is get the other engine, which actually is an earlier engine. I'm going to get that. And free this mag off and put this mag on that other engine. I've also took the carb off. I did do it on camera, but the camera stopped. So let's get him down and get the other one up there. A lot of you guys will probably say, well, you should have done this engine in the first place. And you may be right. Maybe... Ah, I think I should have done that. This one's got a flat pulley on. I hadn't noticed that. And it's got good compression. Yeah, this one's actually got good compression. And it's a much earlier engine because it's got the brass plate look, not an aluminium one. So let me get my Barry Hawkins sticker off here. Oh, I wish they wouldn't put them stickers on there. Uh, stickers that never want to come off, aren't they? Horrible things. Oh, well, we're not worrying about sticker at the minute. We're going to do engine transformations. So really, yeah, this engine's got good compression. Mag drive turns. We have a carb on it. All oh, right, that little ball got to go back on this governor. Oh, there we go. Well, we could leave this carb on, couldn't we? Maybe, but well, this carb is just a lot bigger. Maybe this is a later style carb. I really don't know, if I'm honest. I really don't know. But this engine does seem... Yeah, it's got good compression. and turns over nicely. What's the oil like in this one? Have we got any oil in this? Look at that, this one's full of oil. I'm thinking that maybe this engine's the better one. Look at that. And that oil actually, there's loads of viscosity left in that oil. That oil actually looks really good. So I'm thinking maybe this is the engine we should concentrate our efforts on. Good compression. I don't sound like there's any mechanical knocks going on in there. Yeah, let's do this one. We'll use that other one as a parts engine. Do you reckon we need to just take the covers off this and blow all the fins out? Or not? What do you reckon? Cover off there. But 
before we start taking covers off, I don't want these bolts to ring off like they did on that other engine. Remember on that other engine the bolts were rung off? I don't particularly want that. Do we? Don't particularly want that. Oh, brilliant. So I'm on minimum, I'm on minimum sort of torque with this one. All right, let's get on this one. See if this one will come undone as well. No problem at all. Cool, that one's a little bit tight still, but this one is much, much better. So it seems that this engine's actually coming to pieces. Quite well. There we go. I think we might have made the right call ever. Taking this engine to pieces and getting this one going. It's actually a nicer looking engine if not now I'm looking at it. Hmm, that is actually a nicer looking engine. So again, let's see if we can get these bottom bolts out and then we'll be back. Right, we have got them two blower housing bolts out, so let's take this blower housing off. Hang on, we've got to take this plug out first, haven't we? We have got to take that plug out. There we go. I didn't want to... I didn't want a half inch ratchet. Cool. Maybe I do need a half inch ratchet to get a plug out. I'd rather not. Jesus Christ, that is tight. I think we need to get a little bit of witch around that. And do him up and that's tight. Do him up and undo him a few times. There he comes. There we go. So that just shows these engines have not been... Right, we've got our plug off. So let's now see if we can get this work off. Here we go. All right. Oh, look at that. We have a mouse nest. This is why I like to take tins off and clean them out. Because we don't want Mr. Whiskers in there. Doing his little mouse nest, do we? Oh, this is not good. So what do we got? All the mouse stuff dropped out. Tell you what I have noticed here, which is good. Whoever took this engine apart, did it well because, look at this. Three mag bolts left back in the holes where it come off. Yeah. Mac drive is good. This engine feels absolutely spot on. Feels absolutely spot on. Our oil level is good. Yeah, look at that. I think this may be the one. I reckon this engine was taken out of service, you know, because the Mac failed. And if this mag is totally kaput, it doesn't really matter. Because I do have another one of them mags down the man cave. In fact, I have two or three of them mags down there. Yeah, this... Right, I'm going to leave this engine block here for a minute. And I think we're going to do the magneto. I'll tell you what, I'll split this into two videos. So the next video, we'll get this magneto to bits. So yes. So we've gone through our BSAs a little to see what's going on. 
That first one, I think you'll agree, was very seized and, well, very stuck. So I think maybe that's a good parts. That's a good parts engine. This one seems to be the much better engine and it's got a nice little flat pulley to put a flat belt on, look. So even better for driving stuff. Right. <sighs> We're going to leave this bid right here, like I said. And, well, yeah. I'll start another video straight away with the Magneto. So, there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe. There were a couple of breaks in this video, and I'll tell you for why, because my camera stopped filming. And when I looked into it, it was warnings because I didn't have enough disk space. I'd used up all my gigabits. So there we go. Anyhow, camera's been sorted now. We will be back for a video doing this little Magneto. Because I'm pretty much going to leave this bottom end of this engine. Leave him well alone. Right, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Ha ha!